this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. This video is going to show how to use the Bluetooth, Bluetooth switch by AbleNet with GoTalk Now. So first thing is you need to make sure that your Bluetooth switch is charged. And so you can see here that these lights are staying lit, so I know that that's fully charged. So I'm going to unplug. And now, okay, so I need to make sure that it's turned on. And critical piece here, it needs to be in mode one. So that one lit up. And because I'd already paired this before, it automatically connected if you haven't done that. Then you need to go through the process of pairing it. But I see I have Bluetooth on and I can see that it's connected. So next, I'm over here in GoTalk and it works the same. This is GoTalk Plus, but it's the same thing in GoTalk now or go talk plus or probably even the free version but so i'm going to go into my settings and go down to scanning and here's another critical piece it has to be this space and enter switch for the bluetooth to work so i need to make sure that there's not anything conflicting there and then I can decide if I want to use step scanning, which I'm gonna do since I have two switches here built into the Bluetooth. And if you want it to automatically start the scanning, you can do that. You can adjust your speed and grouping and et cetera there. But for right now, okay. Back up a little bit. So this one is my mover, and this one's my chooser. Uh, I'm gonna explode. And you can adjust in those settings whether or not you start back at the beginning or whether you start where you left off. I can. So actually, I'm probably gonna go set that for this one to be where I left off because that would be frustrating to me personally if I had to restart every time. Resume from where I left off. Done. Uh, I'm gonna explode. I need to turn that up. I have recorded speech on that. Explode. And this is based on the incredible five point scale. I made this for a patient who, I know he was a teenager. Anyway, he would get ramp up very quickly and become aggressive. And it, as it turned out, he just needed to be able to make some options to escape the sensory overload. I can. And he often would choose this. Walk outside. And then you can go back over here. And... Let's see, let's do... Grouping. If I wanted to do row or column and then row scanning. So that's gonna be quicker. So I know it's something here. I'm agitated. Get a drink of water. So hopefully this will get you started on your basic switch setup. Um, you can also set it to automatically scan and just use one as the chooser, but 
usually I like to use uh, two-step switch scanning. 